Welcome back to Security Simplified. Have you ever wondered how data breaches happen? It seems like nowadays a new data breach happens every five minutes. So today, we're going to talk about a simple yet very impactful vulnerability that attackers often use to gain access to sensitive customer data. IDOR stands for Insecure Direct Object Reference. And despite the long and sort of intimidating name, IDOR is actually a very simple vulnerability to understand. Essentially, IDOR is missing access control. Let's say that example.com is a social media site that allows you to chat with other users. And when you sign up, you notice that your user ID on the website is 1234. This website has a page that allows you to view all of your messages with your friends. When you click on the View Your Messages button located on the home page, you get redirected to messages, question mark, user ID equals 1234, where you can see all your chat messages with your friends on the website. Now, what if you change the URL in the URL bar to question mark, user ID equals 1233? You notice that you can now see all the private messages between another user, user 1233, and all of their friends. If so, you have found an iDoor vulnerability. The reason that you were able to see the messages of another user is that there is no identity check in place before the server returns the private information of users. The server was not verifying that you were in fact user1233 or if you are an imposter. It simply returned the information as you have requested. IDORs happen when access control is not properly implemented, and when the references to data objects like a file or a database entry are predictable. In this case, it was very easy to infer that you can retrieve the messages of user1232 and the user1231 by accessing these URLs. If the website were to use a unique, unpredictable key for each user, like this one, the website would not have been vulnerable, because there is no way for an attacker to guess the value of the user key. But instead, the user's ID is used directly to reference a user's private messages. These predictable direct object references exposes the data hidden behind them and allowing anyone to grab the information associated with the reference. As you can probably imagine, IDORs can become quite catastrophic for companies. In this case, attackers can harvest any user's private messages without their consent. If this vulnerability were to happen on an online shopping site, for example, attackers might even be able to harvest millions of bank accounts, credit card numbers, and addresses. IDORs are not just limited to reading other users' information either. It can, only, it can also be used to edit data on another user's behalf. Imagine this. You can change your own password on example.com by going to slash change password question mark user ID equals 1234. And you can change your password of the user number 1233 if you visit slash change password question mark user ID equals 1233. This means that you can take over the account of any user on the platform by changing their passwords without their consent. IDORs on critical functionalities such as password reset, password change, and account recovery are critical vulnerabilities that compromise the entire web application. And that's it for today's security lesson. Next time, we'll talk about how to prevent IDORs from compromising your website's security.